been seeing a lot of questions about true coat epoxy on my lure pages. Thought I'd do a video on it. My name is Frank Ponton. I own Clark Hill Custom Lures. I had a couple of lures. I figured I'd go ahead and do one and just share what I thought about it. Uh, the true coat epoxy is it has a great finish. In the two months that I've been using it, it dries from the inside out, so we have less bubbles. I also use DEFCOM, uh, and I love it. I love the epoxy. Epoxy takes a little longer. It's a little more, more work involved in doing your lures, but the overall finish, I think, is by far the best of anything. I buy my brushes at Harbor Freight. I can get a bag like this for a couple of dollars and I just use it and throw it away. I just make sure that I've stirred it up really well. I've had the better results when I do that because you have plenty of working time with it, but it definitely has an excellent finish. But like I said, it's very thin. It's a lot thinner than DEFCOM. If you've ever used it, the DEFCOM, it's a totally different feel. It's very, very thin. So it takes very little to do a lure. A lot less than you, you would imagine. That was the biggest shock to me out of all the baits. And I just try to get the whole thing covered. I do have a small torch over here at the end. I may hit it if I see something. If I see it actually with a few bubbles, which I haven't had that issue with it. But it definitely makes the lures come alive. I always do the bill last. The bill seems to take a lot. And like I said, it's thin, so it's not going to add a bunch of weight to it. I think I see a lot of questions on there about it adding a ton of weight or epoxy does and I've just never had those issues. I don't put it on really heavy. You just got to make sure it covers real well because it will tend to streak on the bill when I do it. But it gives an excellent finish. And like I said, I know a lot of guys use KBS. I've actually got KBS. I just don't use it as much. I've just, like I said, I just, I think the finish on the epoxy is far superior to KBS. I mean, KBS, if you're doing a lot of lures, I could understand why they use it because they can just dip it and hang it up and, and they're done. But if I'm selling to my customers, I want to give them the best quality look and finish that I can give them and in my opinion. And like I said, it's just my opinion. Um, it is the epoxy. I have a turner over here that I use that I put them on and I let them spin all night. This one right here is actually a transparent crawl that I did. I actually did it last night on a, I was actually on a, video call with Jonathan Wampler from Bad Boy Custom Custom Baits. He's a great guy. You need to go check him out. He does quality work. And like I said, I think if you tried this true coat, I think you would like it. It's very, like I said, it's really brought my lures to life. It um it definitely uh is a quality epoxy. It's actually a small batch epoxy. I, like I said, I don't, you're only using a very little. Those two bottles will last you a long time. And, and they're only like, for the two bottles, it was, I paid $40 for them. And, and I tell you, I've really been pleased with it. And I've been using it quite a bit here lately. And like I said, it, it just gives a very, very good finish. It doesn't look much different than this, even when it dries. It just, it gives an excellent finish. Like I said, if you 
have used true coat and you have some other opinions put them down in the comments below and we can all just grow together doing this in this great hobby of lure build lure building and painting but i just wanted to take a minute i know this is a short video but i just wanted to share it with everybody just in case they did have some questions and like i said if you still have questions that i didn't answer um please leave them in the comments and like I said, you can take a small torch like this one, get it at Walmart, 15 bucks, run it over the top and the bottom just to make sure you don't have any air bubbles. But keep in mind, it's already thin. It's not like DEFCOM. The DEFCOM is very thick. It's a totally different epoxy, but it actually does a really good job. And I hope y'all like the video. Um, I'm going to be doing some more of the painting. I'm just getting into this, just learning how to use the camera. So I appreciate you watching. And like I said, if you have any questions, put it in the comments. And I'll see you next time.